创世纪二章十五至十七節，耶和华神将那人安置在伊甸园，使他修理看守。耶和华神吩咐他说：园中各样树上的果子，你可以随意吃，只是分别善恶树上的果子，你不可吃，因为你吃的日子必定死。圣经创世记第二章记载，人类嘅始祖阿当同夏娃，本来系住喺神所立嘅伊甸园里面，并且拥有永恒嘅生命。但由于阿当同夏娃唔听神嘅吩咐，吃咗分别善恶树嘅果子，所以失去咗永生，所以死亡就成为咗人类最大嘅咒诅，死后亦要受永死嘅刑罚。自此之后，长寿、不死，甚至从死里复活，一直都系人类梦寐以求嘅梦想。又有历史记载以嚟，人类一直未停止过寻找长生不老之术。喺二千二百多年前嘅中国秦朝，方士徐福为咗替秦始皇寻找长生不老药，于是带咗童男童女各五百名。出海寻找凤来，迎舟诸仙山上嘅仙人，但佢哋最后却不知所踪。后来道教中又有专门研究炼丹服药嘅流派，目的都系为咗长生不老。喺古代西亚苏美尔神话、西方嘅海尔特神话、北欧神话及爱尔兰民间传说等等。都有提及长生不老嘅先人。挪威神话中嘅众神系会老死嘅，而丰收女神伊登就系负责看管能够使众神长生不老嘅魔法苹果。现代人都同样热衷于长生不老，例如有科学家将病人嘅尸体冷藏，等到将来发现治病嘅方法之后，希望可以将尸体解冻并救活过嚟。自古以来，将唔同嘅物质变为黄金嘅方法，变成令人长生不老，或者让死人复活嘅仙丹，都称为炼金术。喺传说中，能够令人长生不老，或者让死人复活嘅仙丹灵药，都有一个特别嘅名称，就系、是、贤者之石 （Philosopher's Stone）。贤者之石系一种存在喺传说同埋神话中嘅物质。佢嘅形态可以系石头、粉末或者液体。佢被认为能够将一般金属变成黄金，制造出长生不老药，或者能医百病嘅万能药。佢嘅别称有哲学家之石、天上嘅石头、红药液、第五元素等等。由于炼金术师梦寐以求，亦都想得到佢，佢亦都被赋予咗大奇迹、伟大嘅创造等等嘅称号。贤者之石过去曾经出现喺好多著名嘅小说、漫画同埋电影里面，其中包括二零零一年开始连载嘅日本漫画《钢之炼金术师》，里面提及得到贤者之石嘅人唔需要付出任何代价，都能够达成所有梦想，包括叫死人复活。但系得到贤者之石嘅唯一方法。就系、是、以活人献祭。エドワードさん。何をしていたんだ。すまない。ここなのか。え、確かにここです。もう一度見せてくれ。父さんはかつて赤い水を生成する方法を探してこのセントラルに来た。そして第五研究所というところに出入りすることになり。そこで一人の錬金術師に出会った。その人物は赤い水を賢者の石にまで連成するにはどうしても不可欠な要素があるとして、人の命のことをほのめかした。そして本当の研究所のありかも。喺二零零三年上画嘅著名小说同埋电影《哈利波特之神秘的魔法石》（Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone）。主角哈利波特希望揾到传说中嘅魔法石
，即系贤者之石，令死去嘅父母复活。I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. Of course, here it is. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Honestly, don't you two read? The Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It will transform any metal into pure gold, and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you'll never die. I know what it means. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist, who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. What Fluffy's guarding on the third floor? That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Tell me, what do you see? Yi Hua Mokshi also in 2014, on the 23rd of May, in the Parliament of the Royal Society, mentioned that the English Crown, every Yin Dynasty Crown, was given to him the Book of the Song of the Sea. Under his shadow, he was surrounded by the Sun, the Moon, the Sky, and the Sun. The Sun Sun, the Sun Sun, was brought to the United States in 1929. 成为咗美国嘅根基石，并收藏喺一位神秘主义者 Nicholas Rorich 嘅纪念馆 Nicholas Rorich Museum 嘅防角石里面。有人相信呢一块石头使英国同美国成为当今世界嘅霸主。曾经喺以往嘅主日信息曾提及神秘主义者 Nicholas Rorich 系美国于一九三三年所发行嘅一元美金嘅金字塔，全是之眼。大国晒嘅真正设计者，佢亦都曾经同当时嘅美国副总统提及呢一块贤者之石。In another letter, he said to Rorick, "I have been thinking of you holding the casket, the sacred, most precious casket, and I have thought of the new country going forth, and I have thought of the admonition, 'Await the stone, the sign of Shambhala.'" Wallace went on to say. We await the stone, and we welcome you again to this glorious land of destiny. The casket he's holding with with a a uh, uh, cloth fabric, a kind of sacred, appearing to be Tibetan cloth fabric, over it、um, is a casket that contains a stone. A stone that variously has been called the Chintamani in Sanskrit, meaning the stone of wisdom. Yeah, the Bethel or Bethel Stone, which was Jacob's pillow stone、uh, that you read about in Torah in, in the Old Testament,、um, which became known as a Bethel Stone、uh, because it was、uh, used at the location of what became the town of Bethel. So Bethel. So this stone、um, has a, an incredible history to it that has only recently really surfaced、uh, in terms of how it. Ended up in the hands of Nicholas Rorick, where it came from. There can be no question that this stone in the casket consumed Rorick through the latter part of his life. His paintings are filled with the repeated imagery of it. And here you have a man delivering that casket up again. It appears in, you know, it seems like almost all of Rorick's paintings. These are、uh, supposed to be his family and ascendant masters、uh, carrying the Rothenberg casket in which that stone was kept.
Rorick called the stone the treasure of the world. Even his wife, Helena, is pictured in this portrait, which hangs in the Rorick Museum, with the casket resting next to her, something she and her husband had received under mysterious circumstances in 1923. Everything changed once they received this. It is the foundation stone of all history. It's also called the Philosopher's Stone. In the 1920s, Rorick was supported by a wealthy benefactor and Freemason named Louis Horch. Like Wallace, Horch considered Rorick to be his guru and financed the construction of a massive building to honor him. It was called the Master Building. During this era, Rorick designed what he called a peace banner that went along with the Rorick Peace Pact that had been signed by Henry Wallace. The symbol was simply three circles in a triangle formation. This symbol can be seen even today, engraved on the black cornerstone of the Master Building. Buff Perry and others believe that certain arcane contents, including the Stone of Destiny, Osiris 正是代表人類的基因但是按照聖經的意思這個梯子其實是代表主耶穌基督的身體他藉著人類的身體降生到世間成為一個無罪的人類然後被釘在十字架上成就了救恩約翰福音一章五十一節又說我實實在在地告